Most of the time, I wish companies would make a specific product at a specific price point, but that usually never happens. That's not the case with the Denon AVR X3600H. They made a preamp processor in the form of an AVR that's priced around $1,000. And we're gonna check it out right after the jump. If you're in the market for an AV receiver, you should check out our show sponsor, Worldwide Stereo. They have a large selection of AVRs from many brands, including the Denon X3600H we are about to check out. With 40 years in the business, two locations in Pennsylvania, free shipping, 60-day returns or exchanges, and a price match guarantee, they have you covered for home theater, hi-fi, TVs, headphones, and car audio. So head on over to Worldwide Stereo to check out their wide selection of AV equipment and don't forget to sign up for their monthly giveaway. This month's prize is a Macintosh RS200 wireless loudspeaker valued at $3,000. That's awesome. Links down in the description. Before we begin, I wanna thank Denon for sending this AVR in for me to review. Thank you so much, guys. Now I've been pretty excited to check out this AVR since they announced it earlier this year. The X3600H is a 9-channel AVR that processes 11 channels and supports Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and IMAX Enhanced audio formats. It does all this for $1,100, but you can find it on sale usually for around $900. Now that's a deal. In the box we get the following, remote control, Odyssey room correction microphone, quick start guide, manuals and antennas, mic stand, batteries, a power cable, and the X3600 itself. On the front, from left to right, we get the input selector and a power button. In the middle, we get a large LED display, radio controls, zone controls, quick select buttons, assorted jacks including HDMI, USB, headphone out, and microphone input. And on the right, we get a large volume knob. On the back, we have antenna connections, four digital audio inputs, two coaxial, two optical, one trigger output, RS-232 connection, a remote IR in-out, five analog inputs plus a phono stage, three composite video inputs, network port, seven HDMI inputs, three HDMI outputs across the top, component video inputs and output, pre-out section for 11 channels, two subwoofers, and zone two. 11 speaker terminals across the very bottom, and an IEC power port on the far right to round out the back. When first turning it on, the guide really helps out if you're a beginner or just forgot how to set up and connect and configure your speakers. Let's say you ran the initial setup without an Atmos system and now you want to add height channels. To do this, we need to press setup on the remote. Next, go into speakers, manual setup, and then amp assign. Now, if you want to set up a 5.1.2 Atmos configuration, keep assign mode at 9.1. Keep layout at five channel. Choose either height speaker two channel or Dolby speaker two channel, depending on what you have. Then choose its front or rear. Just mimic the setup in your room. For a 5.1.4 setup, change height or Dolby speaker to four channel. Choose your height speaker layout. I have height speakers front and rear, so I would choose this layout in the menu. If you have four in-ceiling speakers, choose top front and top rear. If you have Dolby Bouncy Atmos speakers, choose four. There's only one configuration for that setup. Moving on to 7.1.2 setup, change the layout to five channel and SB. So you're adding the surround back, so for height channels, choose two channel, either height or Dolby speaker, whichever you have, and select the layout that applies to your setup. Now, if you want to set up a 7.1.4 configuration, we need to change the top assign mode to 11.1. Once we do that, layout needs to be five channel and surround back. Go down to height, change that to four channels, and you'll notice a pre-out section at the bottom. Select your height channel layout, for me, front height and front and rear, then select which speakers you will power externally. Front or rear height, when you change it, you'll see a change in the diagram where it shows pre on the speakers that will be externally powered. So it's either the front speakers or the rear height speakers, and you'll see PRE move from speaker to speaker in the diagram. 
I would always recommend externally powering your front speakers or front stage if you can. Now here's the most important part when you do this. With Denon AVRs, you need to actually go turn on the speakers in the speaker config menu. So we need to back out of this, scroll down to speaker config and go into there. Look at the bottom and the surround back and height channel is set to none. We need to turn those on. When we turn them on, we choose small and we see the speakers added to the diagram. If you do not do this step, you will not hear anything from those speakers as they are set to none. No matter which configuration you choose, 5.1.2, 7.1.2, 7.1.4, whatever, you need to see all the speakers in this diagram that's in your room or there'll be no signal sent to those speakers. Very important, you need to do this step, otherwise it won't work. Well guys, that's how you set up Dolby Atmos in all those different configurations for the X3600H. Now I am super stoked about this AVR because it pretty much breaks the barrier for nine channel and 11 channel processing, and it also adds IMAX enhanced. Now, if you were thinking about getting this or the X4500H, the step up, what you are getting with the 4500H is Oro 3D. Uh, they say a little bit more power, I believe, but if that's not a big deal for you, then you're probably good with the X3600H as far as growing into it. Like if you're at a seven channel Atmos now, or you're at a 5.1 and you just want all the cool new HDMI switching and 4K HDR for all your devices, then this is a good buy. Now remember, I'll put links down in the description. Of course, again, big shout out to Denon for sending this in for review. Thank you guys so much. And if you have any questions about anything, let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on social or email, whichever you like to choose. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Go ahead, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad and I'll see you next time.